Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. Today in this video I'm going to check the Transtech Laser S hybrid racing frame. This frame features a very interesting design, it's supposed to be very durable and features replaceable carbon fiber arms with a thickness of 6mm and on top of that it is extremely light. In this video I'm going to quickly assemble it and go over its features and soon I'm going to feature it in a build video. Inside the box you can find the instructions manual, some stickers, all the needed spacers and screws, two bags that contain the replaceable carbon fiber arms and the bottom and top plates, and finally a bag that contains two battery velcro straps and 3D printed TPU parts for mounting your camera and your antennas. Now I'm going to quickly assemble the frame and after that go over its specifications. After less than 5 minutes, now the frame is assembled, and by the way, this assembly diagram is excellent, and it also really helps that everything is labeled on the bags. The total weight of the frame is 76.6 grams, so it is extremely light, especially when considering the thickness of the replaceable carbon fiber arms is 6 mm. The thickness of the bottom and top plate is 2.8 mm. The wheelbase of the frame is 224 mm. The distance between the front two arms is about 13.5 cm, the distance between the back arms is about 16.7 cm, and the distance between the back arms to the front arms is about 16.7 cm as well. On the bottom plate you can find both 30.5 by 30.5 and 20 by 20 mounting holes, so it will enable you to use both mini-sized and full-size stacks. And if you'll opt in to use the full sized one, you will need to use the provided rubber dumpers. The distance between the bottom plate and the top one is about 33 mm, so it's going to leave you with enough space to use an all in one stack, especially if you're going to use a mini one, which is probably the one I'm going to use. The 3D printed TPU part on the front is compatible with micro FB cameras, and it will also provide you with a decent protection to the camera lens. On the back over here you can find two holes for mounting the battery leads and finally on the top two holes for mounting the 3D printed TPU antenna holders. You actually get in two parts, this one which is compatible with the Foxeer lollipop antenna and you're also getting this one which is compatible with SMA and RP SMA adapters and you will need to just insert it like that. On the sides you can find holes for mounting the radio receiver antenna and you will need to mount it in this manner using the provided screws and nuts. The price of this frame is around $70, so this is definitely not a cheap frame and it also doesn't feel like one. And I'm really looking forward to see how it's going to perform when I'm going to feature it on one of my next build videos. As always, I thank you for watching my video, I hope you enjoyed it and you find it useful. If you have any questions about the Transtech Hybrid S frame, feel free to ask it in the comment section down below. Don't forget to leave a thumbs up if you like this video and consider subscribing to my channel and hitting the notification bell if you're not already subscribed. See you on my next videos and goodbye.